five o'clock Friday evening. I'm on the edge of Dartmoor, I'm out here for a quick overnighter. I've got about 20 kilometers to do this evening. As I say, it's five o'clock, so hopefully I'll be uh, to my proposed campsite before sunset, about eight o'clock this evening, uh, night on the moor, and then tomorrow morning, get up early, and depending on the weather and how I feel, I'll do another 20 or 25, 30K. We'll see back to uh, back to the car, which is just down there. I had intended to be at the car park up the road here, but apparently it's on private land and it's been closed since February of this year. Anyway, just adds an extra five, 600 meters to my, uh, my route, so not that much. So better get on. Absolutely stunning day, clear blue skies, a few little clouds over there but let's not worry about them. Oh, just heading down into the valley now, into Shipley Bridge. Uh, there's a little bridge over the river, and uh, oh, there we go. And a car park down there, and then I head straight up the valley behind. So this is Shipley Bridge, just there. And I'm heading up here. Oh, what a good road at the moment. And uh, there's the bridge, you can just about see it going down there. Quite a picturesque little valley here. going almost two hours now and just arrived at Avon Dam Reservoir. Absolutely stunning evening, it's uh, now 7.20. Sunset is going to be in another 40 minutes or so. Uh, currently on Porpoise Hill. And uh, next I'm heading straight up the ridge. And then on to uh, up the ridge and then across to the left over there to Riders Hill. Drop down, up over the next ridge. And hopefully that is where I'm gonna be able to camp for the night. 
I could have cross camp anywhere in between if I need to. I think I'll be finishing off in the dark, but that doesn't bother me. Wow, look at the sun over there. That's just stunning. Absolutely stunning. It's going to be a beautiful evening. really been on a path for a while now there's a couple of animal trails maybe I'm not sure what they are but I'm heading uh, off the end of this ridge dropping down to the valley and I've got about one and a half kilometers to go and then uh, I'm at to where I'm hoping to camp tonight a nice spot it's right down by the stream so it should be nice just hope I get there before I need to stop and take my head torch out because the sun is certainly going down fast now. I arrived at my camp while it was getting dark, but managed to put my tent up without the need for my head torch. I covered about 24 kilometers today with 700 meters of ascent. It was getting colder and the night was going to bring a frost. It's uh, it's 6 a.m. We had a, a very cold night. There's ice on the uh, ice on the tent, and it's nice and uh, frosty outside. But. It's going to be a very beautiful day, clear skies, there's a slight breeze, um, so it's just very very cold at the moment. So I'm going to get up, get the tent down and head on and uh, start getting warmed up. That's where I camp, you can see a little spot without any ice on it. And then I'm um, going to cross the river here, head up over there and join the main path, I hope. So let's see how this goes. <laughs> let's see how well I can cross the river. Well, uh. There we go, that was easy enough. Okay. So I'm uh, heading back, uh, well, heading back now. I'm going to take uh, the route I had planned, the slightly shorter one. It's still going to be about 20 kilometers. And I've got to meet up with the main path. So that's where I'm heading now. Let's see what I find. Now at the uh, cairn at Great Nat's Head. And if I shut up, you should be able to hear the birds this morning. It's just so peaceful up here. I can vaguely hear in the distance over there a couple of people talking. 
quite a long way away there's a, a camp of a couple of uh, tents and now I'm heading probably over towards that lump on the horizon. Just gonna head down uh, Dan's bottom valley where the path is although the map shows it as being a bit boggy in places. I'm actually headed for that little knobble on the horizon uh, which is Red Lakes and the moorland is fairly uh, open here fairly fairly good on the foot there's some tiny little trails so I'm literally just gonna head straight for it this is Red Lake and I'm on a little little hill just here it's absolutely stunning views 360 degree views not a soul in sight got this whole place to myself and next I'm heading over this uh, looks like a ditch it's an old trail, uh, tramway or railway line heading back up out there over to the shoulder and from there I think it's about nine kilometers gentle downhill back to the car Almost back at the car now. That's just over three and a half hours. Really enjoyed it. Absolutely stunning morning with the sunrise. So that's it. If you enjoyed this video, please uh, give it a thumbs up and also consider subscribing. And see you in the next one.